For a while, I've wondered which faction is the best and totally accurate battle simulator. I figure the best way to find that out is through a tournament. I put all the factions in a tournament bracket using the randomized wheel. I excluded the secret and legacy factions because they have too many units that would make the competition unfair. Today we will start the tournament with the medieval faction against the pirate faction. Let's begin. Now in the red corner we have a bard, and in the blue corner we have a flint knock. Now to start off this first round, it's not looking so good for the medieval faction, considering that the bard can't attack, but if the bard manages to lure the flint knock off the map, then it could be an easy win for them. We'll see. So, so far, the Bard does seem to be luring the Flintnock away, but I don't know if it's working. Nope, he's not going towards the end of the map. He's going in a complete opposite direction. Uh, yeah, it looks like the Pyro Faction's going to walk away with this one. But, oh, the Medieval Faction might still have a chance. If the Bard can lead him off this cliff right here, they might still win and, oh, nope. The Bard just died. That means that the first round goes to the pirate faction. For round two, we have a squire versus a blunderbuss. Now this round might turn out better for the medieval factions considering that their unit can attack and the squire swings, but he does not kill the- Oh, he does! He manages to pull off the win. So that is one point for the medieval faction. For round three, we have an archer going up against a bomb thrower. All right, now to start off round three, I'm gonna put it into slow motion so that we can actually see the fight because I imagine if I didn't put it in slow motion, the round would go rather quickly. Now, we get the first attack thrown by the bomb thrower, throwing his bomb. It looks like the pirate faction might walk away with this one. Oh no, but the archer fires and it's going really quick. It might hit him and, oh, the medieval faction wins this round. This means that the score is now two to one. Now for this round, we have a priest, but since the priest can't attack, and can only heal, I gave him a squire so that it's fair. And he's gonna be going up against a harpooner. Now as the battle starts, instantly the harpooner grabs the squire, and now it's just the priest left, and he grabs him, he kicks him, and oh, the pirate faction wins this round. This means that the score is now tied two to two. We are now at the pirate's home turf to start the second half of the tournament, and we're gonna be starting with the catapult against the cannon. Now this round is going to be completely dependent on whoever can fire first, and oh, it's the cannon! And the cannon pulls off the win. The score is now 2-3 to three in favor of the pirates. Now, we have the knight going up against the captain. Now to start this round, the captain may have an upper hand considering that he has a gun, but maybe the knight can block it with his shield. But they're both wielding swords, so this should be a pretty even battle. Oh, they're duking it out in the middle right now, and for some reason the knight is holding his shield behind his back- Whoa! The captain just blew him out of existence, I guess. That means that the score is now 2-4. to four. Now, for the final round, we have the king going up against the pirate queen. Now, this round could go either way, but my guess would be the queen, considering that she has two swords, and she has a spinning bomb move. And the king, he just has a giant sword, and that's really all. And now they're swinging at each other. Oh, the king grabs the queen, and he's holding her, but oh, she does her spin move, and she pulls off the victory. This means that the medieval faction lost, with the final score being 2-5. to five. The pirate faction will be moving up in the tournament, and next time we'll be facing the western faction. Now even though the medieval faction lost, just for the fun of it, I'm going to put all of the units on teams, and then I'm going to put them against each other. Now that we got this started, this isn't going to change anything if the medieval faction wins. If they win, it'll just be for fun. The pirate faction is still going to be going on to the next round in the tournament. Now it's utter chaos as the harpooners are pulling in more units from the medieval faction, but the pirate queen is entering and so is the captain, but also the king is, and now we're having a rematch of the king and the pirate queen, but the king's being healed this time by the priests. And oh, oh the pirate faction looks like they're losing units rapidly, and the medieval faction seems like they're winning here, which is quite shocking considering that they lost formidably in the tournament, but yeah, it seems like they're winning. Uh, the king just has these three units to deal with, and it looks like he might be able to deal with them. Yeah, he just needs to deal with them, but... Oh, no, he's... Yeah, he's done. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they are... Lo they might lose. I mean, if the archers can get a couple good shots in, they might be able to... Oh, the pirate queen is down. They just need to deal with the captain. As long as they can deal with the captain, they win this thing. But... Oh, and they win it. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The next round of the tournament will be the farmer versus the ancient faction. And if you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, that would be a big help. Thank you.